How's it going guys? It's Epsilon here and today's RuneScape 3 video looks at the brand new magic changes and also some of the new Elder God Wars stuff that we have coming to RuneScape 3. So if you want to find out all of that then stay tuned for this video. It will be timestamped as to the various different sections so you can always skip around to the parts that you're interested in most. And then at the end of the video, there will be some other videos that might interest you regarding some money making guides and stuff like that, that I have on the channel. And of course, if you're interested in anything RuneScape related, then be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. So what is the latest with Elder God Wars and what do we actually know so far? Well, we've got a little bit of information from uh, from Jagex themselves, they basically said that you have to get the certain requirements in order to get into the uh, the city of Sentiston. So this is the big update. Uh, we've got basically this quest line that you have to complete. It starts off with Azanadra's quest, and then we have uh, you have to have completed the Battle of the Monolith in quest in quotation marks. Basically, uh, you have to complete the mini quest, and that will be basically finished on uh, well you need to have done it by June 21st basically so as of the recording of this video you've got a couple days um, before the next part of the battle for the monolith comes out so when that does drop once you've completed that you'll basically be absolutely fine you'll have completed all of the requirements so long as you've also done as anadra's quest as well as uh, having the slayer requirement of 75 and the archaeology and magic requirements of 74 both the same basically so once you've done that you'll basically be able to jump straight in to the uh, city of Sentiston as soon as the update drops on June 21st so we've got over eight days before that actually comes into the game it'll be really really good fun and obviously you want to prep for Elder God Wars we did do a little video as what basically you should be prepping for Elder God Wars what sort of things you will want to be uh, looking at actually purchasing and that will be linked at the end of this video so if you want to have a look at that then uh, you can do so with regards to some other things that basically Jagex have talked about is that when City of Sentiston Quest basically comes out, this comes out on June 16th. So it will be released on June 16th, I believe. Um, and then once you've actually uh, jump into the City of Sentiston Quest, you'll actually be rewarded with Ancient Magic Spells. So these are brand new ones. So they're completely different um, from the ones with regards to Ancient Magic before. So you'll be getting some actual new kind of content that you'll actually be able to get your hands on. And of course, that's going to bring in some hype around the magic gear within the current game if it wasn't already there. So a lot of the prices of magic items are starting to go up. And obviously, if you're interested in getting into the kind of meta of the game and making sure that you are ready uh, for the update when it first comes out, then of course, make sure that you actually pick up some of the runes, make sure that you're fully stocked with that sort of stuff. All of the consumable items, you know, when you're looking at food, stuff like that, anything like that will always go up before the update. And actually during the initial launch of the update. So that is when prices tend to be highest with regards to all of the kind of consumables and stuff like that. Because of course when it first gets dropped everyone's going to then jump onto the new content. And then they're going to be purchasing everything um, regarding you know combat and stuff like that. Whether or not we'll get some Slayer up updates or, or some extra Slayer mobs. Don't know entirely but I wouldn't put it past, um, put it past Jaggets to actually bring in some actual new Slayer mobs that you may be able to actually do as part of the city of Sentiston not being confirmed could just be speculation but it's always there and it could definitely be in the game so of course think about that and also think about maybe some some archaeology relics that could possibly come out that we haven't already got and I would expect considering it's surrounding the monolith um, I wouldn't be surprised if archaeology um, became um, where they had some more relics that you will actually be able to pick up as part of Elder God Wars. And of course, make sure on the 16th of June you actually jump in and you actually hop on to the live stream that RuneScape will be doing at 4 o'clock game time. So of course, be really, really fantastic to actually jump in there, see exactly what's coming with the new quest and they'll basically be giving all of the information. What I will try to do at the end of the week or on the day I will actually try and make a video whereby we go through all of the information 
from that stream and then kind of condense it down for you to uh, enjoy and, and just be able to listen to. And hopefully that will be uh, what you guys actually want to listen to and hear about. And obviously we can have a little bit of a discussion going in the comment section down below as with this video. It's quite a short one, just wanted to kind of post a little news update and of course my content will start to be coming out on a more regular basis. I know it's been a little while since my previous video but that's just because of uh, some exams and stuff going on with my university course. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing some more RuneScape 3 content then be sure to like the video and also subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.